Good evening everyone, it's North 47 here with the third round of the France Open at Yellowgrass Prairie Club and TDC Tours Elite Tour. So it's season at 21 under through two rounds, just about made the cut. Cut line was actually 20 under par, so kind of hovering around the danger zone there, but um, hopefully can finish kind of well. Um, I did play Pinset 3 earlier on, I shot 13 under par, that was just default conditions though, I have no idea what have we got. We've got medium winds, firm fairways and greens and fast green speeds so um i can't remember if that's similar to default or not actually um as you know the, the green speed is more i think it's 144 is the green speed um so hopefully at least the winds are medium that's not too bad god knows what we're going to have now in the fourth or in the fourth round i did play uh pin set four just before starting to record not long ago uh just to see what that was like and i shot 15 under par i think on that one again that was just default conditions winds weren't too bad but um let's see what we got here right winds aren't too bad maybe about six to eight mile per hour kicking things off with a par five so yeah i left a lot of puts uh, a lot of shot uh, a lot of puts yeah on the greens um out there in rounds one and two bear with me just in the ear there um so yeah could have been a little bit lower now i have also played um again i'm trying to do the lie grid it's not on i have also played pin set one on next week's event and oh stay up once you clear the bunker um yeah that one gave me a little bit of trouble i missed a good few opportunities on that uh only shot Five under, two bogeys on that as well. But again, missed a lot, a lot, or missed a lot of uh, opportunities. Um, but anyway, right, fifty yards in, fifth, up five feet, so about fifty-two. That's perfect for a flop. Um, maybe do forty-six. Little touch D loft. Ooh, pulled it a little bit. Come on, run out for me. That'll do very nice. Hopefully should walk away with a birdie here. So the green speed's 169. Uh, we open things up with a birdie. Now I know at the moment <clears throat> uh, the lead through three rounds is 44 under par I think. So, I mean, there's, there's just so many scoring opportunities on this course that I'm actually surprised it's not lower. Hole number two is a par four. Oh, it's a bad tee shot, and I aimed off to the right. Should feed left a little bit. Should hopefully still hold the fairway. We do. Still got 319 off the tee, though. Considering a red slow, but it was quite a bit downhill. Right, 142 up five so 144 in um 144 right we'll go with a good bit of loft on the nine iron oh pull that a little bit looks like it might be tracking around pretty okay though just about cut the green on the right side there but that's not bad at all makeable distance Okay, so we're left 12 feet down, 3 inches, breaking slightly both ways. I think we'll just favour, actually just left of the pin. There's a little bit more left to right, I think. Let's make sure we hit it straight, and we do. Didn't turn. Luckily didn't put it out on the edge. But back-to-back -back birdies to open things up. Okay, hole number three, par three. And it's 148 down 14, so about 143 into the pin. We'll play the nine iron. Yeah, I've got a little bit of an angled headwind. Slight touch of loft, I think. Hopefully it'll sit fairly quick. That's slow again, felt that one. Didn't fully push forward on the stick. I'll be on the green, but it's going to be a lengthy putt. It did sit nice and quick as well. Tricky one. Um, just 
Just have to get this close, I think. 36 down 2. Oh, if I under or over hit, I've overhit that. That ain't stopping. Got the perfect, maybe that might attract online with the hole. Just trying to scramble now. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come, so we do drop one shot back to the course. But we have got a par 5 coming up. <clears throat> so as you can see there, um, I'm not sure if it's a Highness 24, is that how we pronounce uh, the name? Uh, it's, it was 39 under through 6 at the moment. Not sure if he's on the Elite Tour or not. But at least the wind is fairly calm. Alright, 291, not going to get there in two. I've tried a few times. Well, I'll tell you what, actually. Wind's not too bad. I'm going to try the driver off the deck. And if it touches down well, maybe it might be able to feed around, scrape itself on screen. No, I don't think so. It's got to get up that slope there now. Leave us a little splash shot in. Um, maybe a bit more. Uh, 39. 33 might do. We'll just put a bit of spin on it. Oh, a little slow. That's helped. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Not much break coming back, though. Oh, there's a toe curler. <laughs> Very close to running that right over the lip. But we do claw that drop shot back. Take it back to three or two under par, should I say. It's on a par 3, 193 up 24, so about 201. Well, 190 get there. Maybe if you aim, aim about here, 190 might get there. Let's make sure we're full distance. Maybe a little bit of loft because the wind is slightly angled. It's coming around a bit more than I thought it would. Now, there is a slope there if we can stun on that. Oh, stop any time. That was a great shot. Not far off an ace at all. Wind pulled that, but the wind, yeah, did pull that around a bit more than I thought it was going to. But take away that bogey, not doing too bad so far. For the front nine, 40 under through 12 uh, for House of Cosby's. Again, don't know. Could be on the Platinum Tour for all I know. Could be even on a lower tour. Uh, could be on the Kinetic, for all I know. Um, and that's three wood, I want driver. There we go. Beautiful swing. And just speed that up, that'll do. 335 off the tee, gonna leave a 65 down four, so that's 64 in. Um, yeah, we'll take the pitch shot. We'll put a good bit of loft and spin on it though. Not too bad of a swing. Slight pull on it. Oh, gonna put a bit more loft on that, but thankfully it's coming back a little bit. Wasn't thinking of the tailwind there. Oh, hold, 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 hold. Ah, oh, come on. Didn't think it was going to break that much. That's the, the first par of the round. Okay, another par three coming up. So three par three is on the front nine. Very nice course, this one. Next week's course, though. Um, I think it's, uh, what's it called? Rower Ruins, I think it's called. If you're not careful on that one. Will definitely cause problems. Um, right, 174. I'm going to play about 173. 8 iron. Half loft. An attack angle. 
not too bad at least on the pro even though it is a slight pull if that was master swing now that would have been well off to the left i'd say with that pull that has run up beautifully and oh it's another toe curl what am i doing <laughs> right four under my god I mean, I'm not going to threaten the top of the leaderboard by any means, but jeez, I want to finish as far up the leaderboard as I can. Alright, that's all the tee shot. Again, we'll just speed it up a little bit. Approach shots, again, as I would say, usually for the true sim career, we're just uh, going to try and keep them at normal speed. Right, 199, up 25, so I'll say about 207. 199 we will have to play in, a bit of D-loft, just for that wind and the slope that we're on. That slope, felt that. Should run out good though. Mm, not as good as I was hoping. It's makeable, but uh, quite makeable actually. Oh, I've overhit it. It's not taking the break. Damn it. I actually pretty much played straight, I think. <clears throat> we'll take the par. Alright, let's see if we can squeeze one more birdie out of the front nine. Slightly slow to see. There we go. Probably have a lot of people having trouble, actually. Um... In between holes, a lot of new people playing the game now as well. Obviously, would have been free for PlayStation Plus members this month. Um, so, in particular, on on career mode as well, they don't realise about just knocking off those the the pro highlights. As on PC, not too bad, but on console, it just it can even on PS Five. I'm gonna assume Xbox Series X and S as well. It can take quite a lot. Oh, turn back on the slope. Turn back, turn, turn. Yeah, it can take quite a bit to load them up. So just turn them off will help. But uh, just the likes of matchmaking and even societies. That was a beautiful shot. <laughs> um, even societies, people are having a lot of trouble. Uh, but I think it's just down to the high volume. I mean, for myself, Percy. So an eagle too. A hell of a lot better. I was hoping for just a birdie. But... The previous two rounds I couldn't get the green, I couldn't hold the green at all actually on that one. Um, but yeah, for myself, like playing the game, <clears throat> with the times that I get to get online and actually play, just play if not if I'm not even recording, um, Saturday nights this game is a complete and utter no-go for me. Uh, it's just due to it being the weekend, I get on the evening times and anybody over stateside, um, as well as around Europe as well. Off work or whatever, relaxing on mine, fancies a few rounds of golf, the server's just bogged down for me. Um, and that's that's since release, I, it's even TGC 2019 is the same actually, I can't remember TGC 2. Uh, right, what do we got here, about 126 in, perfect for a gap wedge, maybe just a little touch of loft, hard to tell if we're on a down slope as well as the ball being above the feet. Um, so we'll go out, let that drop, bring it back about half. Oh, no, I needed to play that right at the pin. Actually, right at the pin. Not right at the pin, but right of the pin. That's a bad shot. That ball was a hell of a lot more above the feet than I was taking into account. Right, 35, going to play about 41. Flop shot. Slow. Come on, just get up, get up, get up, get up. That'll do. All right, let's scramble the par here. All right, par to kick off the back nine. Well, just hopefully we can get through the final eight holes now without dropping any more shots. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, par four, 11th, similar. 
tee shot, I think, to uh, the first hole. Just a par 4 instead of a par 5. Nice attackable pin by the looks of it. Or is it actually, I think it's just sort of left, left side of the green. That's our front left, kind of. Right, 192. Um, down 38, so we'll put that up to 39. Take 13 off. 189, 179, I want to say. So we'll go 7 iron. Um, definitely want to aim this right over here. Mm, angle that swing line again. Pulled it a bit. Kind of helping. Ooh, was it a mistake putting the loft on? Come on, run, run, run. Alright. Chipping has been on form this evening playing, so. Let's see how it goes tonight for recording. Going good. Chipping is just so dangerous on pro. So, so dangerous. Especially when it's a short chip like that. I don't think we need to see it again though. Yeah, these replays, like these aren't too bad at loading up. Um, they used to take a little bit longer now when I was playing on the PS4, but uh, just the live rival replays on a pro, Tour Pro highlights in career mode, they, I don't know what it is, they just, they take an age to load up sometimes. And then you can get other times to load up quicker than what that one just loaded up. was I going to get there in one I've managed to get on in one I think it was the f yeah the first round favourable win so that um, right 62 bit of a headwind so we'll play full pretty much a full 67 yard pitch just for that headwind it's heading right at it oh beautiful And then we go, right, what's that bring us to? Uh, 21 under, 8 under for the round so far. That's including a bogey. Now, six holes left to play. At least one of them there knows a par 5. Which is this one. <clears throat> um, not going to get there in two anyway, not with the wind. Now, where's the best option to go for? I think a little bit wider over here, so... Touch of fade because the fairway does kick it right to left. Ooh, a little slow off the tee. That'll do it. Oh, 287. I'll say we're not going to get there. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We will get there in two, hopefully. Um, just need to aim it right. Uh oh, a little fast. That's going to hold left. That's bunkered. I don't think we would have gotten there either way. Um, splash shot? No. Prefer flop shots out of bunker on the short ones like this. Oh, it's a little light on. Actually, apparently I got the power right on that one. Just tempo. Slow. Uh, heavy rough. Right, we'll go 69%. Gap wedge. Oh, turn, turn, turn. Ah, I should have kept it straight at the pin. So, just a par for that par five, unfortunately. Played that a little bad out of the bunker. But we do have one more par five to come up after the next hole anyway, which this one, I think, is a par three. It is indeed. Mid range 159 up 23, so about what 167. Uh, with the wind, definitely playing a uh, seven iron, should I say? About to say eight iron. Yeah, I felt that slow again, just not pushing fully forward. Not kick a little left. All right, pal, the green just about makeable pull 10 feet. Dead on. Turn. 
just about I thought I was going to hold straight and just cruise over the lip glance into the hole as it went past all right final par five of the course coming up for hole number 15 we have a nice tailwind I'll be happy Not too bad for off the tee anyway. About here, but max attack angle. Give it as much airtime as we can. And give it a little fast. Squeeze as many yards out of shot as we can. Touches down about 312, I think that said. Gives us 356 off the tee, not bad at all. Certainly reachable in two now. Uh 222 down 10, so about 219. Um, we're on a bit of a downhill. We'll play, play the four iron rather than do a partial shot. Ah, slow again. Push fully forward. That's gonna kick right. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Just hold there. On and two. Outside chance. Very big outside chance for an eagle here. Also not breaking too aggressively. Just a lengthy push. Sixty-four down one. Ooh, a horrible swing line. Come on, turn. Hold. Oh, so I'll turn too much. Weight was perfect on it. We'll take the birdie. And that will bring us to 10 under par. So, pretty consistent so far. Touch wood. I don't uh, go and bogey the final three holes now saying that. But yeah, pretty pretty consistent. So far, 10 under being the worst round. Um, right, 231, playing about 236. I think we'll have to just go with a partial here. Pull it back to the roundabout here. Ah, under hit and slow. Might be able to kick itself off the slope and get on. It will. Alright, keep going. Not too bad considering I under hit that. Oh, hold that line. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, come on. Burned. Burned the left edge. So just a par there. I think that's the final par three as well. It is just two par, four, par fours. Par fours to finish off the round. So 31 under. Let's see if we can get a 12 under. Do a tiny touch of draw, just I think potential to kick to the right off the tee. Yeah, not too aggressive though. All right, 82. I'm gonna play about 89. Um, so gap wedge pitch shot. Oh, don't come around too far right. I thought the ball was a bit more above the feet. That'll do very nice. And pretty much no movement in this at all. Just hit it straight and drop it in. Alright, that's 11 under par, so... Even with the second round score of 11 under. Let's see if we can make this the best round so far. Be interesting to see you know, what the wind conditions are going to be for the final round as well. Hopefully no more than high. Alright, full attack angle again. Ah, slow. Be fine up. Carry the bunkers, just don't kick too aggressive to the right. Should be fine. That will give us 337 off the tee. Leave us 64 down 5, so about 62 in. Um... I go full. Hopefully that's not too much. We do have a nice tailwind. Oops. Oh my god, yeah, I should have just dropped that down to a flop shot. But oh good backspin. And yeah, that is quite a good outcome. Didn't think it was actually gonna come back that much. And 12 under par, so that's the, oh, that's a horrible swing line. Um, but yeah, that is the best round of the event so far. 
with a bogey thrown in on the third hole. So I've no idea where that is going to stack me up. Uh, just while it finishes up, that's at 33 under par. Let me have a look at the leaderboard over on TDC Tours itself. <clears throat> Bear with me two seconds. So in-game tied 55, uh, France Open. So I won't be showing up just yet. It'll take a few minutes at least to, uh, to register me, I think. So what are we looking for? 33 under par will put me tied for 46th at the moment. So as I said, 44 under is currently the lead through three rounds um yeah i'm not gonna so 11 off the lead certainly not gonna threaten the top of the leaderboard unless i have an absolute blinder of a fourth round so let's back ourselves out and have a look actually just get a bit of a a heads up on what the wind conditions are going to be and the course conditions as well All right, so 10, 11, 12. Let's see if we can get a 13 under maybe for the fourth round, keep it going up. Um, yeah, let's just go in and just have a quick look. So the winds for the final round will be, it will be high and very firm, fairways and greens, very fast. And they're gonna be 187s. Um, gonna be interesting to see how that one goes. Cause I say I've played all four pin sets, <clears throat> but just kept the course on default. Um, but not too bad, happy enough with that. Just unfortunate to take that one bogey on the third on the yeah on the third hole, but uh, yeah that has been the third round of the France Open at Yellowgrass Prairie Club and TGC Tours Elite Tour for the third event of season eight. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like if you have not done so already. Make sure to hit subscribe. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one and bye for now.